a keynote speaker, Mr. Lakshmi, Industrial Principal with Infosys. And um, that we will look forward for this keynote presentation where Lakshmi will go in and have a look at how we can leverage configuration lifecycle management in the digital thread. So how can we utilize that in the digital thread? So very warm welcome, Lakshmi, to Configur uh, Configuration Lifecycle Management Summit 2022. Very excited to have you here. I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you, Sagit. Thanks for the Perfect. Warm welcome. Thank you. And with this, I would like to hand it over to you so you can make your presentation. Looking really forward for this. Sure. Hey, uh, good day for everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, I am Lakshmi Narayanan, people with uh, Infosys Engineering Internet of Everything Unit. I have 25 years of industry experience across uh, many domains, discrete engineering, process engineering, and uh, high-tech industries. I also have worked uh, across many disciplines uh, and uh, systems, say uh, KTR and NX and PLM systems, starting from VPM to 3DX to uh, Team Center, and also MES and IoT. Uh, I have been in this configurator domain for the last 15 years, started with a CAD templates creation where we capture the knowledge of engineers in CAD templates, then create the variants uh, develop. And then it naturally helped me to move to the CPQ area, which is now CLM, and have been part of many digital transformation for our customers. I'm very, very happy to be part of this summit today and uh, glad to share my experience in this space. Uh, just to add, I am certified in Config Ace as a solution architect. I'm certified in Azure Cloud, and I also certified in Azure IoT. I have been very happy with the last two days of session. There are a lot of digital transformation happening across the customers. And uh, today, I want to touch upon the theme of engineering. Um, uh, I know. It is, it is difficult to discuss the day when many of the pics have me see how I can deep dive into the in with CLM. So before that, uh, let me give a small uh, introduction of uh, Infosys. Um, it's a 16.3 billion revenue with uh, 300 plus 300K um, employees there. As I told, I'm part of the Infosys Engineering. We handle a lot of core engineering, uh, mechanical, electrical, electronics, uh, and uh, and uh, digital thread as part of the internet of everything is where I belong to and has been part of the CLM implementation. We have got a lot of accolades from different analysts, Zeno, Gartner, and others. If I talk about config it, our config it relation, uh, config it and Infosys, uh, we have been partner for the last six, more than six years now. One, we have done six, 20 plus programs, many customer bases. We have 150 plus certified in config it. Some of our key customers are ABB, Akko, Fisher, Tishan, Danfoss, and Philips Medical Devices. More are there. So, Today, uh, I want to go back. The keynote I want to deep dive is the why a unified configuration solution can scale your engineering process. This is going to be a tough topic because it has matured over years. The system processes have matured. At the same time, there are some recent trends which is having impact on the engineering. So let me briefly touch upon those trends. Believe me, I talked to the other presenters in the last two days. There have been some uh, repetition, bit, but it just validates uh, the observation of the trends, right? So personalization, I think a lot has been presented by Hendrik and others, how the latest B2C and B2P market demands for personalization. And it it is forcing the engineers to think more on CTO. Engineers cannot spend, keep spending on every order, customize it and give it back. To think more from CTO scenario so that time can be dedicated on the new product development. 
the products becoming very smart it has to be a feature based offering in the market and also organizations are going towards product as service right if we have to give a product as service for example the medical devices they are looking for a service as a printing as a service so if it has to be happen then product has to be modular it has to be iot enabled it has to be remote monitoring enabled and organization has to keep up the sla of the service so it has to be really smart design smart finally the theme of sustainability and circular economy is taking front end in all the organization so how the product is designed has to take care of these themes so that is where engineering is stretched it is the new trends are impacting now engineering has to rethink how they are going to meet these trends that's where we have seen clm coupled with the digital thread helping the engineering organizations definitely is helping in all the phases sales enterprise but since it has been already deep dived in the last two days i want to focus my discussion today on the when i say engineering digital thread has been the top for many decades there has been many attempts to make the digital thread efficient right when engineer need to think as design factors to be taken care as manufacture factors to be taken care for the product as operated when the product is operated so all this will be part of the design but unfortunately there are different system function different teams which is handling that and get back loop back to the design to improve the product has been challenging even today there are a lot of soft challenges and hard challenges systems are disparate even lot of handovers there has been many attempt to create the digital thread as a back but it definitely needs a lot of experience and business to succeed and infosys we have expanded this digital thread to as serviced factors and also as unless as sole factor is taken care in the product design engineering market cannot be the offerings cannot be nimble the sales team cannot be efficient so in all our programs we take care the digital thread is spanning across all the stages and clm is orchestrating all these stages so definitely clm when i say orchestrating here we are talking how clm can enable all these engineering functions related functions at the same time don't make big changes in the systems so questions like how it's going to happen like who is the master of the data we always talk about single source of which system is going to handle the the master how different to consume the data how it is going to be integrated is does it also handle the eto so all these answers we have uh, uh, demonstrated and we have matured over years in four years before we created this blueprint for the clm coupled with digital threat where cpq plm erp and crm are working together and also defining where the master data how it seamlessly handles from enquiry to and further to order if i double click them deep dive them we went into the minute granular details of the challenges how it should be handled from config it is to winchill plm ap to cr crm system even to e commerce sales portal so in fact this blueprint has evolved over last four years has shapes in our different customer bases and live now in uh, handling uh, i can conveniently say millions of dollars of orders are going through them definitely um, there is a lot of value between different system either between engine manufacturing engineering and servicing the feedbacks through this digital thread backbone is thing to improve the product it's helping to reduce the wastage in the manufacturing systems right and helping to enable the remote condition monitoring through this 
and definitely addressing the place where it was not possible to get the feedback from the functions to engineering. With this feedback loop, engineering functions are amplified. Right now, there will be again uh, with these values. Have we done just one case to share that how we improve the customer? It's a, it's a live customer case study and how we mix. Is are we going to rip off the existing systems and create the CLM with it? Answer is no. That is where I like confidence in the CLM functionalities. We are not going to rip off the systems. We are going to make modification to adapt to the CLM concept. Now, yesterday, uh, some of the customers were talking about due to precision, there are more systems in the landscape. So CLM exactly fits there where it is able to talk to different system, orchestrate the process between the different system and help to get the feed engineering to improve the product. And you can have a separate parallel initiative to consolidate the system later, but start with the CLM. If you start with the CLM, you get the business value upfront and the, all the functions start thinking towards the systems. Many customers make that, okay, let's validate the systems, then bring the CLM into the picture, then delaying the value realization and also missing a lot of opportunities. Definitely CLM has helped the engineering think differently and adapt to popularity of the product, making it IoT enabled, smart, thread concept. So if data is the new oil, CLM is definitely the new refinery, which is unlocking the value from the digital thread. It helped us a lot. And I have uh, more viewpoints, more questions now. Particularly, Shagita's keen observation of the session comes out with a very uh, thought provoking question. I'm early in the my session. I really want to answer question to see like, know your viewpoints and also I will be happy to continue the discussion. You can scan my QR code or drop an email. We can continue the discussion. As of now, you can put your question in the chat box to brainstorm certain points. Back to you, Shahid.